Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the Android 11 open beta for our OnePlus devices. So Oxygen OS 11 open beta on our OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 8 Pro. This is TK and this is XDA TV. Let's check it out. So what I have in front of us is the OnePlus 8 running the latest beta. This is actually the open beta running on our OnePlus 8. Uh, it will be available on the OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 8 Pro initially at launch. And one of the things that we can definitely appreciate here is that the new power menu is, well, actually has been integrated. So you notice right here on the top, emergency power and screenshot is present here. Google Pay is still present right there. And of course, once we have uh, the Google Home application installed and set up, we're able to actually get those toggles installed and set up in here. And you're able to actually go in there and customize them. So basically add controls, edit them, as well as reset. Now reset is actually a separate feature because that's not available on Pixel line devices. So here you're pretty much able to basically configure it and get it set up correctly. Again, keep in mind, you do need to download the Google Home application, log into it and make sure that it's configured. That's when, and of course, while using the three different options here, we'll go ahead and press it, we'll be able to access the new menus. So new power menu and screenshot is actually present here, not present in the recents app the way we saw it with the Pixel line of devices. And as you can see here, we don't actually have the screenshot option, but you're still able to use normal screenshot functions. So volume down and power still provides us the screenshot, uh, but we don't have that additional feature. So hopefully we'll see that in additional or future betas. Now, as far as the notifications, first and foremost, you'll notice right there on the top that there is a nice little color icon in there. And that's because I have set one of my contacts as priority within the new notification. So here, that's a notification coming from TikTok. I'll swipe down from the top. Conversations with Android, well, the Google uh, Messages application. And I've went ahead and set up this as a priority. Now I have this as part of my Arabic video, but essentially once you set it up as a priority, the image of the contact goes up to the top. Uh, we don't have bubble support yet, but that should be coming in the next update, hopefully. Uh, and, but again, the main priority here is that once I do this on the top, you'll notice that that picture shows up and it also keeps it in the top part, which is the conversation. We have the normal notification section as well as basically the other notifications, which would be more of your silent type of notifications. And you're able to interact with them, press and hold on them, and of course, interact. Uh, and of course, once you're done, hit done, and that will actually work. Uh, coincidentally, if you guys would like to see the full features of the new Android 11 update that got pushed out to our Pixel line of devices, make sure you hit that video uh, that's available on my main channel. And of course, like and subscribe over there. Now, of course, one of the main things that we probably didn't get a chance to see before is that there is actually a new element. The design of different things in here and within Oxygen OS 11 looks a little bit different. So uh, the notification panel has, done, has had at least somewhat of a facelift. Uh, the other thing also is when we jump into the actual alarms application, this is the new alarms application. So some new updates that we received from OnePlus. Plus. And of course, when we jump into the weather information, you'll also see the new design of the weather app that's built in here. Now, some of these may already have shown up on your devices if you've updated them directly from the Google Play Store, but this is definitely very nice. The camera app also received a few new updates, a couple of new features available here under the picture or actually under video sections. So if we jump in there, we'll notice that we now also have the ability of using portrait video. That's something that is very new and available directly from OnePlus. Last but not least is the also the ability of seeing Nightscape. So that's going to be something nice. So Nightscape video, that's also going to be an option. And as we talked about before, all these options will be available directly with the beta release. Once you're able to check it out, on your device. Keep in mind, this is still a beta. So if you do decide to install this on your daily driver, make sure to back up all your information so that in case something does happen and you need to revert, everything works out for you great. Uh, next thing, of course, you'll notice here I am connected. So data connectivity, everything works fine for us. Uh, I do notice here that this version is essentially an international version. So there's a few features here that may not necessarily come to the US depending on where you receive it. But if we go into the settings, you'll notice the new material design or at least the new design customizations that we have in here. So the always on display, as I showed you guys at the beginning here, this is something that is very unique. We'll go ahead and turn off the display. We finally have always on display on our Oxygen OS running devices. So Oxygen OS 11 will bring always on display. The fingerprint sensor is still present. You're still able to customize all the shortcuts and of course use all the different applications. And of course, open up and use gestures. Uh, we can customize the wallpaper, the clock style, fingerprint animation, horizon light, of course, all of those. And of course, customize the color out of the box. It did come in with this red and white, but I did change it to cyan. And of course, uh, you can change basically the system icons. So basically we have four options to select from. And of course, last but not least is the basically the font. So OnePlus Sans or the Roboto font. All of those are customizable, available directly in here. Uh, battery information, all of that stays pretty much the same. Uh, but one thing we do want to talk about is permissions. And one of the really nice things with the permissions that we got with Android 11 is the ability of customizing the experience when it comes down to these applications. So we'll go ahead and jump into Telegram X. 
Well, first and foremost, we'll notice that we're able to give it the permission to use the camera whenever it's actually being used in the app. So meaning if the app is in the foreground, this permission is valid. But if the app is not running in the background, this one is revoked. Or I can actually now give it the ability of actually going ask every single time, meaning every time I want to use the camera in Telegram, the app will ask me if I want to be able to grant this permission. So permission based on usage is also something new that is available on Android 11, and it is going to be at least in this version of the beta of Android 11 um, on Oxygen OS. And hopefully we'll see this, of course, in new and more updates in the near future. One thing that is here, but it looks like it still needs a little bit of work, is that pop-up window resizing feature that we have within Android 11. So I'll go ahead and hit the play button, and you'll notice right there, playing that video, the Android 11 features. I'll go ahead and swipe home. You'll notice right away, it actually opens it up a little bit and it looks uh, slightly off, even though we're actually playing the video. But if I bring it up to the top, let it go, I'm actually able to resize it. So that's something that's new, even though the video is not playing. But if I jump into it and go back into full screen, the video will actually go ahead and start. So we'll go ahead and hit play. I'll go back into it. And we can see that the video is playing fine. I can actually resize it and bring it in. And sometimes I have some problems with it, but most of the time it actually works quite well. Uh, again, really nice, really cool features coming into Android 11 on our Oxygen OS running device. Now, something to keep in mind is that the screen recording functionality and the do not disturb scheduling option that we have within Android 11 have always been part of Oxygen OS. So these are not necessarily new to Oxygen OS, but now definitely natively supported. Uh, will OnePlus replace the native screen recorder with it? I'm not sure. The current version that we have still supports the OnePlus uh, native screen recorder. So the really cool thing about this is that we've seen a lot of update from the original developer preview that I did for you guys. Now, I did a video on that on my channel not that long ago covering some of the new features within Oxygen OS 11. So the UI elements have definitely looked different. We do have some updates into the applications. So native OnePlus applications have been updated, but we see a lot of incorporated features from Android 11 over to our Oxygen OS running device. So the OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 8 Pro are gonna be running this. This is the open beta. Of course, I'll give you guys some links to that in the description below to find out more about what's coming up with OnePlus. Like and subscribe as usual. Make sure to check out my channel for a lot of cool Android 11 feature videos. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next video.